Hey you, it's me, and today I'm drawing Sleeping Beauty as a boy. So, first of all, I'm kind of super proud of how this guy came out, like the whole drawing, because at first I wasn't too sure about it, but the finished result is really neat actually, and I don't know, it's like, I think I got a lot better with drapery, like clothes, because you'll notice that Sleeping Beauty has his hands up because he's stretching because he's sleepy, get the reference? <laughs> And like his sleeves on his pajama shirt are a bit down and you can see that the shirt is too big for him and the same goes for his pants and I don't know, I'm just really happy that I was able to show that these clothes or pajamas are big and loose and it's just, it's super cool when you sort of improve in something and you can see it yourself. I mean. I'm not saying my art is perfect because it definitely is not, but I'm definitely super glad when I can see at least some sort of improvement. Anyway, about today's video, I was thinking of talking why I draw feminine guys, because you'll notice that most drawings of boys that I have are either super slim and skinny, their postures are usually very feminine-like, and they kind of look like girls almost and I have a great argument about that <laughs> I mean it's not an argument it's just simple uh, it's a fact mostly guys like buff guys are not my speciality I'm still learning muscles especially you know around the chest area and the back area especially with like guys that have more muscles and just sort of enjoy drawing skinnier guys and feminine guys because it's sort of my cup of tea, you could say. <laughs> um, I kind of always crush, I always have a crush on guys who are more skinny like and they either have this hipsterish vibe to them or like punk rock, pop punk vibe and they get like additional bonus points if they're wearing glasses or something. Basically, I like nerds. Yeah, I I like nerds. I think a great example for that is David Tennant because he's a super skinny guy and he, yeah, um, I just like nerdy guys, nerdy boys, feminine-like guys. It's just the thing, I mean, if I'd want to, I am able to draw a guy with more muscles and more man-like stance or whatever, but it just doesn't bring me any happiness or joy, so I don't really do it. I mean, I practice it every once in a while when I'm like, when I feel like I'm rusty, so technically I do draw them, except nobody sees them because I don't want to really be recognized as a person who draws more muscly guys. I want to be the artist that, oh look, it's pamped or addicted fun if you follow me on Instagram. Wink wink, you know, Instagram. I upload their daily illustrations. Okay, I'll, I'll stop that now, I'm sorry. But like, yeah, I, I want people, if they see my art, that they can feel like, okay, so this person likes to draw more feminine boys. And, you know, if that's something you like, then I'm sure you'll follow me around on my art journey, and if you don't, I'm sure you'll go and find someone who doesn't. It's simple as that, although it's super interesting because I remember when I was like a little kid, I had crushes on like, I don't know, guys who had like blonde hair and blue eyes and were basically Brad Pitt. I had a crush on Brad Pitt. And I guess that's one of those super basic crush types when you have, when you're younger, I guess. But at the same time, like, okay, sure, I had a crush on Brad Pitt, he looked cool and hot and whatever. But at the same time, I had a crush on Hugh Glory, who played uh, Dr. House. Um, <laughs> I am fully aware that he was really old in Dr. House, okay? But you cannot tell a young mind to not like an older person if that person is a jerk and you just love the guy. Also, he has blue eyes. I, I enjoy blue eyes and uh, green eyes. They're like my favorite. I don't know why. Like, people with brown eyes kind of scare me. I mean, not as a person, but like, I don't know. It's like, 
brown color to me is kind of super cold. I don't know if like this has anything to do with <laughs> uh, my first boyfriend who had brown eyes and now I'm just like nope and any brown colored eyes of a person are just like nope no thank you or something I don't know like I'm not trying to be eyes racist towards brown eyed people but I just there's something magical about blue and green eyed people they just feel like they're fantasy like they're not real wait I have blue eyes am I not real I'm asking the real questions now Anyway, I got a bit off topic here, but basically, yeah, that is my reason why I draw feminine <laughs> voice. Um, do you have, like, the sort of a reason why you draw either very man-like girls, maybe, or very girlish-like boys? Because I like to find out these types of things about people, because it's, it's pretty cool. Also about the drawing itself, sorry, I completely went on a tangent here, didn't even talk about... Sleeping Beauty here, but um, yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing this. Like I said, the pajama was really cool and the design on the shirt so that it looks like he's a butler or something and that's supposed to look like it's printed or drawn on the pajama because it's, it's a pajama and I decided to design Sleeping Beauty's clothes from the clothes we see on her at the beginning where she's in the forest and the famous uh, Once Upon a Dream song is played. So yeah, it's kind of super difficult trying to design guys from the princess dresses. So I kind of try to eliminate that by trying to find other designs or other clothes that pr the princesses wear. So yeah, that's kind of my way of... Um, tiptoeing around this specific area because also how do you change a dress into like men's clothing without it looking either like pajamas or this guy uh, belongs to like a mental hospital or something I don't know like I'm still figuring out around those areas even like Snow White when I drew him which you can see I have links down below in the description or either somewhere around you'll see them or if nothing else i have links to my videos at the end of the video so you know stay around if you're interested in like seeing more of my gender bent series but anyway like for snow white i based him off of snow white's dress clothes like the the main one she wears and you know it is a dress and the only way i was i was able to make it look cool in a way i don't know like it like it works it sort of came out like Snow White is from, yeah, very fairy tale like place. But for most of the drawings so far, I was kind of able to make them look like they actually belong to our world or so that they belong into the cartoon. It's kind of difficult to explain, but yeah, most of the time they can, came, they, <laughs> they can come out all right. But some, some do have issues. But like, yeah. That's, I think that's basically it for today. Sorry if this video, well, like I said before, Wednesday videos are unscripted, so I'm sorry if I end up going on a tangent like I went today. It's just this sort of thing I do, because then on Saturdays, it's the videos that are actually scripted and I try to minimize how much I go on a tangent or whatnot. So yeah, I hope you liked today's time lapse with me talking. If you like the gender bent series. I have a couple of videos I've already done, uh, which at least one will be linked, like I said, either down in the description below or at the end of this video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, where I said I upload regular daily uploads apart from the weekends, you can go check that out. All of my socials where I'm actually active are always linked down below in the description. And yeah, if you like this video, please click the like button. It apparently helps a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I do Wednesday gender bent videos and Saturdays are so sort of just either like drawing challenges. This week I have an animated video coming, which I'm working really hard on. So I really hope you like it. And yeah, click also the bell button to be notified when videos are coming out. And that's it. Remember to be patient and positive, 
and bye bye.